All right, now we're ready to get going with the introductory module. If you have not yet gone to the home page of this Encore site, I would like you to please do so. I have my initial introduction video there where I talk a little bit about myself, a little bit about the course, um, a little bit about course expectations. So please do that before you get into this first module. This introductory module is really what it says. It's a way to get comfortable with the course, to introduce yourself to the course materials. So what we're going to be focused on this week is learning and figuring out the inner workings of our Encore site. So I want you to take some time and go around through the Encore site. Um, be familiar with where resources are, where the forums are. You're going to be doing work in a number of different places on this site. The big thing you're going to be doing, one of the big things you're going to be doing this week is really carefully reading the syllabus. The syllabus is your source of information for this class, for due dates, for how you make a grade, for information about the Hispanic world. So take some time with that, please. You have to take a syllabus quiz. It's included um, in your course grade, so just make sure you do it. Um, you also will this week spend some time reflecting on what you know about the Hispanic world, about Hispanics in the United States, Hispanics in Richmond, Hispanics wherever you happen to live. So thinking about what our knowledge is going into the course before we even get started. As a part of this, you need to write a reflection paper. The reflection assignment is under assignments. You can get to it through the link in the homework module. You also have in the homework module a couple of websites to look at, a couple of short things to read, videos that will also help you with how you think and feel about the Hispanic world. So take some time with that. Make sure you read those things and make sure you write your reflection paper. This is a personalized reflection. You will be writing in the first person. You will be using I, that is fine. But it is not informal. I expect it to be well written. I expect there not to be a lot of gram grammatical mistakes. I expect there not to be spelling mistakes. This is still a formal paper, even though it's a reflection. And I am going to be asking those people who wrote the best papers, meaning the cleanest writing, the most in-depth reflection, if we could possibly include your paper in a special edition of the IUE's Teller, the school newspaper, for Hispanic Heritage Month. So please work carefully on these and make sure you do your best work. The papers are due on Sunday, August 31st by 11.59 p.m. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a cold. And then we will be starting our first unit with using the textbook and the source book. If you have any questions, if they're of a general course nature, again, please post them in the general discussion forum. If they're of a more personal nature, you can email me or just work to set up an appointment. And let's get started with reflecting about the Hispanic world.